Hi guys, Alex Tupuno here. Um, I'm sorry I've been slacking off in videos lately. Uh, but um, I'm going to try my best to um, try and make more freaking frequent videos. And pretty much for the next month or two, I'm just pretty much going to review mostly horror, horror films. Um, I'm not, you know, every time I, you know, Halloween season's around the corner, I just always get in the mood of watching horror films, so I'm just going to review a bunch of horror films. But, uh, I'm, I've seen a few, um, the last week or so, and I'm, I'll review those later on, but, uh, I'm going to start off with the movie Darkness Falls, which was directed by, which is the first film directed by Jonathan Leesman. Who directed the Ninja Turtles reboot recently, which I enjoyed. If you want to see that review, uh, check out my uh, Ninja Turtles re uh, reboot review. I did with my cousin, but Darkness Falls. Uh, you know my my uh, my good friends um, Thomas, aka Horror Fan Thirty Four, and Rob. Uh, A.K.A. Rob Rance or Nintendo Rob, really enjoy this movie, and they say it's underrated and stuff like that, which it's 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 cool. It's their opinion, but uh, you guys are not gonna like what I'm gonna see about this movie because I thought the movie sucked, to be honest. And uh, uh, this movie's a mess, in my opinion. So pretty much the story is. Uh, uh, an ancient ghost woman who uh, collected, you know, she was like a tooth fairy, uh, taking care of kids and collecting their uh, uh, their teeth. You know, died hundreds of years ago, and is now, um, you know, an evil spirit haunting little kids who who live who uh, in a certain in a town. Who leave their teeth um, under the pillow, and um, yeah, I mean, and pretty much the uh, this tooth fairy, she can only attack you know, people in the dark. If it's in the light, she can't do anything. So you know, the movie, the movie stars. Um, I'm gonna try to pronounce the name right. Ch Chainley Kelly, uh, who is pretty much the main character. He, uh, the actor passed away a few years ago, sadly. But in this movie, he you know he plays a character that, as a as a little boy, left a tooth. One night, one of his teeth, and um, he he got attacked by the tooth fairy. She attacked him. He ran into the bathroom. His mom was trying to find out what was going on. Two fairy kills his mom. And the whole town thinks he did it. And they send him to the... I guess... Uh, the institution. Until he you know, he grows up. And he's pretty much just... Obsessed with the two fairy. Trying to find out a way to stop her. And his... Um, his friend... Um, who he was gonna go on a date on when they're kids, you know. She grows up, you know. Years passed. She has a similar problem where her little brother, who is oh, you know, it's kind of weird casting because the the boy who plays her little brother is as uh, could you know. Could easily been just her son. I guess that was too cliched. I guess I don't know, but um, yeah, I mean, the two fairies haunting the, the the little boy. She doesn't know what to do. So she ran, ran. And this is a weird scene. She randomly calls him, the main character, saying, "Oh, I, didn't, I haven't talked to you in like fifteen years, but uh, can you tell me how to stop the two fairy?" Is this? Uh, I don't know, that's stu I, th I thought that was stupid. So he's trying, and, you know, he wants to help. Um, but he really can't do much. 
um, they, you know, they reunite with another friend who wants to catch up. You know, the main character, I, I believe his name is Kyle, the character's name is Kyle. Um, he goes, he goes with, you know, with his, with the guy he used to be friends with when they were kids. They go to a bar, they catch up, and then there's this random asshole who says, are you, are you the boy who, who kills mama? I'm gonna kick your ass. Just stupid random shit like that. And they, they fight, you know, the guy, you know, Kyle, he doesn't want to fight. He goes outside the bar, and the guy comes back and... Pushing them down, and they end up end up in a forest right next to the bar. And then the Tooth Fairy attacks uh, the drunken asshole, kills him pretty much. And of course, all the cops blame Kyle. And as as that's going on, um, the girl, you know, she's trying to help, you know, her little brother. But he has to go, he has to go in, um, I don't know what you call those machines where you, like, it's like a little tunnel, when, like, they, what, x-ray, like, x-ray, um, yes, he has to go, he has to go through, x, you know, x-rays, so, um, but it's all dark, so if he goes in there, he, you know, two fairy is going to attack. They're trying to prevent that, uh, then there's, like, um, a stupid scene in the in the police department where they have Kyle locked up in uh, in the cell, and the lights go off, and then you know two fairy attacks all the police uh, police officers, and the whole time like Kyle's saying like, use your flashlights, use your flashlights, use your flashlights like, over and over, and they're idiots they don't use the flashlights, so they all get killed. He escapes. Because of uh, flashlights on him. So Two Fairy doesn't hurt him. Um, he saves uh, the girl and her, you know, and the little boy. Um, uh, they end up in a lighthouse. Oh, but before that, they're in the hospital. Uh, the lights go out there. And, you know, there's a stupid scene. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Uh... Right, they have to stay in the light. There's like a, there's like emergency lights, uh, and like they have to go past the stairs. Yeah, um, they they have to go down the stairs, and there's lights like um, each spot. Like there's you know there's the level, light, stairs. Oh, the stairs are all darkness, so they have to jump. It's just it's just it comes up goofy. Where they're like you have to jump into the light. She makes me think of Poltergeist. Go into the light, Caroline. Um, and every time, you know, they jump, the two fairy grabs one random doctor or nurse or whatever. I don't really give a crap. And, you know, and then they end up in the lighthouse. And they have their final battle. It's like really stupid. Uh, it just comes off goofy. Uh, the fight, you know. She attacks. She tries to attack them. They, sh you know, the shine the, the, their lamps at the at the two fairy, and she goes, yeah! and they end up killing her by uh, the main character. I forget what he does. Oh man, I'm trying to remember. Like, I guess he just hits her with the lamp, and she explodes or whatever. Stupid, uh, stupid looking CG, and uh, and they're you know it's just, you know it's you know Kyle the main character, the girl and the little boy they all survive, um, and then like at the very end there's some other little kid who just l loses his tooth. He puts it behind you know under his pillow, and you think oh, Tooth Fairy's gonna show up, and um, no no you see his mom. Just doing the switch, giving him a little bit of money. So that's some. That's how the movie ends. Uh, it's a really. I, I thought it was a lame, lame movie. Uh, boring. Not really scary. I mean, they have just random jump scares sometimes. Like there's a scene where the the girl is in the parking lot of the hospital, 
and then all of a sudden, a, a cat just jumps in the in the in front of the car. Crap like that. Um, didn't care for the characters. Uh, I thought the two fairy was goofy. Um, and uh, it's a pretty forgettable um, film, to be honest. And for, uh, you know, it was John, Jonathan Lee's in his first movie, so for a first timer, he didn't do a good job. But uh, he got better. Um, he also directed Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning, which I don't like that movie either, but I'd rather watch that than this uh, movie. But overall, I did not care for this movie. Sorry, I thought... I thought it sucked. Um, so... So, yeah. Um, that's my review of Darkness Falls. Uh, but, um... I'm going to review more um, movies I liked. So, stay tuned for that. And, uh... Adios.